Over the past three weeks, I tested out more than 25 Safari extensions and came up with a list of 13 that I think are worth checking out and adding to your Safari browser. Let's start things off with Speed Player for Safari, which is extremely simple. It adds an interface where you can quickly change video speeds on the web. What's cool is that in the extension settings, you can also set the default playback speed for all all videos. Moving over to the G App Launcher, which allows you to customize and add Google App Launcher to Safari, just like the one that comes by default on the Google Chrome browser. You'll have access to over 1000 Google shortcuts, and it's not limited to only that. The extension also allows you to create custom shortcuts to any website you want. Now, the Clean Links extension strips all popular tracking query elements of the links you click. Most website URLs work perfectly without all the tracking elements, so this extension simply gets rid of them. Moving over to Neo Noir extension, which adds dark mode to Safari. Now you can lower image brightness for maximum eye comfort and minimal strain. Continuing with the keyword research extension, which saves your time by letting you create shortcuts for common websites or search engines so that you don't have to go to the actual website to search for something. You just type your keyword, for example, D for DuckDuckGo, and then your search query, and once you click enter, it will search for something on DuckDuckGo. Now, of course, I had to include an ad blocker into this list, because without it, browsing the internet is so annoying. The AdGuard ad blocker extension clears all ads in Safari and fights data tracking to protect your privacy so you can enjoy a better, faster and safer internet. Moving over to Super Agent for Safari that automatically fills out websites cookie consent forms for you based on your preferences. With some websites giving you annoying cookie prompts that are impossible to decline, Super Agent lets power users decide if and how they want to be tracked and ensure that their options are automatically applied with no effort to each website. Moving over to Grammarly, which I'm sure most of you know from all the ads, and it lets you write stuff with no mistakes, checks your grammar and punctuation, as well as spelling. All this time, I thought this extension was paid, but when I found out it was free, I had to include it in the list. Now, the Stop the Madness extension, commonly referred to as as the Swiss army knife of all extensions protects your privacy on the web and simply stops websites from making your browser harder to use. It has a ton of customizable settings, letting you change various website options, set custom rules, and it surely lives up to its nickname. And for something more practical, the Vimari extension adds easier keyboard-based navigation to your Safari. Here you can see all the keybinds that do specific actions, for example, W is for tab forward, which cycles forward through your tabs, or T is for open tab, and you guessed it, it opens up a new tab. Moving over to Honey, which finds and automatically applies discount coupons on over 30,000 supported websites, so you can save money on your next purchases. Chances are that it will work on 90% of decently known sites that you purchase things from online. And the Vinegar extension replaces video players like the YouTube player with a minimal HTML player. It's more useful on your iPhones or your iPads Safari browsers, which don't really play along nicely with the YouTube website, but nevertheless, you can use it on a Mac as well. These have been the best Safari extensions to download, and if you're open minded about learning something else, here's another video that I'm sure you'll enjoy.